welcome to my channel Radha's Daily Dose of English. How are you all? I'm fine, thank you. And I'm the same with you. Okay, so let's start practicing how to speak in English. Do you have the fear of speaking in English? Please don't be. When I'm here, please don't fear. Okay, my focus is mainly about how to build your confidence only not while speaking English. Let it be in any other language. Once you have the confidence, okay, what you speak is right or wrong, keep it aside. Once you have the confidence that I have to speak, obviously you will improve your language, okay. When I mean confidence, people, please keep in mind that when you start speaking English, your attitude, okay, it should be like you know that what you speak is going to be right. Have that attitude in your mind and the confidence automatically comes out, okay. So uh, today we are going to focus on few words which are like mostly used in our daily conversations where we will uh, try to use intonation, diction and articulation. Okay. Okay. For example, uh, let's say now you just met a friend or uh, you're just on a phone and you're speaking to the other person and uh, we use the common phrases like, uh, hi, what are you doing? Right. To your friend or other. So when you say, what are you doing is you're focusing on your intonation. What are you doing? Again, your pitch is coming down. So try to use these sounds, the sounds, the rise and fall and the intonation which sounds good, okay? Now, we would focus on this sentence. What are you doing? Okay, simple sentence, okay? First, of course, we're going to say hi to a friend, right, over the phone. So, hi, what are you doing? See, what are you doing? Okay, next, let's focus on you, okay? Hi, what are you doing? The intonation, the rise and fall, you're stressing here. And let's go to the last one doing now. Hey, what are you doing? See the difference? So, these are three different ways of articulation and intonation which sounds good when you speak in English. So, keep practicing. That, let it be any sentence. For example, now we use the word, what are you doing? Uh, let's uh, take, for example, other, any other sentences. You are welcome. Very easy and simple sentence which you convey to Anyone who says thanks to you. Thanks is a very common word, so I'm not going to focus much on it, the intonation part. Uh, just look, try this simple one. Uh, when someone says thank you, we say you are welcome. Okay? It's very short and crisp, isn't it? Let's make it more good, right? Let's let's make it sound more good, like more beautiful. So the opposite person, you know, he should like, uh, you know, feel eager to listen more and more sentences. Okay? Now, now let's say I am Mr. A and Mr. B as well and Mr. A says thank you and Mr. B says you are welcome. I am focusing on the diction part, I mean the intonation part on welcome. Okay. Now once again we are going to use a different intonation now. Again when Mr. A says thank you then Mr. B says you are welcome. I am focusing on R. So my intonation is on R, okay? Now again, the third one, when Mr. A says thank you and Mr. B answers, you are welcome. My intonation is on you. So these are different ways of the rise and fall of the pitch, the tone, which is same as articulation and intonation. So speaking in English, yes, it's very important, but you have to focus on the right pronunciation. Right pronunciation means neutral way. We are not looking for any accent here. We are only focusing on neutral way of speaking with right articulation, intonation. When I say neutral, yes, pronunciation. So keep practicing. 